Hello again, this is Jeff Brooks with Remax of Orange Beach on the Gotti team to provide you with my little monthly update on the market here in Baldwin County for real estate. Uh, let's jump right in. Uh, interest rate, as long as it's exciting, I'm going to cover that every month. Uh, last month, you'll remember we were in the high sixes. Uh, we were expecting an increase from the Fed on, on their rate. Uh, we did see that. Now we're in the mid sevens. The good news is to, as of today, everyone's suspecting that there aren't going to be any additional near-term increases from the Fed, but we'll keep watching that. Prices, uh, starting to see variation even within the county here. So my point last month about it being very local uh, continues. And then inventory, we're starting to see an improvement in inventory. There are more choices for people that are looking for something to buy, especially those of you that want to make this your forever home or looking for an investment especially in the investment space, as you'll see. Uh, but we're still below the traditional norms, so prices are still holding uh, fairly well. Uh, now this chart, you may debate that last statement with me. As you'll see, the July last year to July this year in traditional homes, the average price uh, was down almost 2%. Um, I'd, I'd call that fairly stable. Uh, the Days on market was up 136%, which sounds like a lot, but it's only 52 days. Uh, and you'll see in a minute sort of what the uh, normal time on market is on a trend chart I have for you this month. And then number of home sales, uh, 426 was down about 20% from last year. Again, we'll look at a trend line in a minute for that. So you'll see that you know, that's not necessarily bad news. Um, on the resort and island-based property, we did see a little over 4% reduction in the average price July of last year to June of this year. The, the, uh, the days on market was up almost 4x, but still that's below traditional norms. And then the number of properties sold was up almost 20%. So again, still a fairly mixed signal market. Uh, so here's my point on the very regional, even within the county and, and segment. You know, coastal properties or condos, uh, July to July, you know, the average price came down about a half a percent. Uh, coastal homes, uh, average price came down about one percent. The central Baldwin area, sort of North Foley, Robertsdale, Somerdale, uh, saw an increase of almost 5%, while Eastern Shore and Northern Baldwin County saw a 6 to 7% 7, 6 reduction in price July to July. So those trend lines I mentioned, um, you'll note on the left, total residential sales, uh, we saw that big bubble in 20 and 21, uh, whereas for a number of years before that, we'd seen 650 to 700. So we're, you know, pretty much back in that normal range on total sales. Uh, if you look at the median, not the average, which is sort of the, the most number of homes sold at that price as opposed to all of the homes and what the average for all of those prices was. Most of the homes sold around this $350 range, which you can see is an increase uh, year over year. And you can see all the way back to July 13, it's continued to increase. And then uh, months of supply, and I keep talking about traditional levels, uh, you'll see sort of that period four to six months supply is the most often showing up in that graph on the right. Uh, and we're still below four months supply uh, overall. And the average days on market overall for everything was about 55. And the total number of properties we had to choose from in July of this year was 2,164. Uh, you'll note in the top of this slide and the bottom of the last one that I put the links to the reports that I got these from, uh, you can go and get it and get additional detail. 
And I will love to hear questions, further comments from you on this, and look forward to getting you an update next month. Have a wonderful day.